It's day 67 of the 365 days of laughter every day. I'm uh, just with my wife who is packing at the moment, an emergency pack, and that's never a fun thing, is it? It's no laughing matter when you forget something crucial like, I don't know, underwear. <laughs> <laughs> um, so she has to, um, has a bereavement to head back for and it's been quite difficult so we've had to use laughter to help the process because administratively it's difficult to get an emergency PCR test, flight etc so breathing in <laughs> and sometimes you could just work with what is you know work with the anger work with the frustration <laughs> It's okay. So right in the middle of my wife's packing, I'm making a video. Can you even deal with it? <laughs> you look amazing, my beautiful. I know this is hard for you. Yeah. And, um, yeah. So why do I recommend laughter? Because when we're in those difficult situations, um, the frustration, the anxiety, will we get the PCR test back in time? You know, in our country, they're scrapping PCR tests, so it's hard to get one. It's one of those things. But where she's flying to, she needs one. So it's just learning to go with the flow and learning to let go a little. And though laughter is no laughing matter, strange to hear it, you make it and you show up as a daily practice. So that's so why we've been using the laughter to help release the pressure point of tension and anxiety and worry and of course huge um, you know sorrow and sadness for the bereavement on top of all the administrative things that you need to do when you're traveling from overseas back for a funeral so why how are we able to laugh because we've made it a practice because we uh, leave it as part of our central tenants in our relationship and so we know hey let's laugh it off and so they're not making light of it in fact we know how serious it is so <laughs> and i'm going to miss my wife and i wish her well of course i'd like to support her and be with her but sometimes these are the ways that life goes and we have to support from a distance so i'm thinking of all of you today and everybody else who's going through bereavement or loss or panic or anxiety of any description. Be kind to yourself and those around you.